Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get to the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe to the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. Last week, I did my video for the Eastern Conference play-in round predictions, and I wanted to follow it up with this one. Now, this, this video, I wanted to cover the Western Conference teams and who I think may win the play-in rounds. So let's get started. The first team I wanted to cover were the Nashville Predators and the Arizona Coyotes. And um, with this one, I'm going to go with the Nashville Predators. I really am. I love their team. They have a deep group of forwards led by Forsberg, Duchesne, Johansson, uh, Arvidsson. They have a really good team. Their defense with, um, you know, Roman Yossi, Ekholm, Ellis. They have a really good core of defense. And when you have Rene and Saros in net, this team is just built for the playoffs. They really are. I know they had an up and down year, but this is a team that has playoff experience that has um, a wealth of depth at every position. So I think they're going to win this round against the Coyotes. But the Coyotes have a, a good team. They really do. Um, they they uh, got the addition of Hall this year. Um, they have Kessel. Kessel's got playoff experience. He's got a couple of cups, cups under his belt, so he can add a lot to this team. You know, you have Clayton Keller. You have Dvorak. It's a good team. It is. Um, their defense with uh, Chikrin and Oliver ekman Larson and Goligoski, you know, the that definitely does all the, all the positions go more in favor of Nashville, but I do like what Arizona has. But I just think with Ranta in that, I don't think he has that to win a series um, against Nashville. So I'm going to give the edge to Nashville in this. But you know, I do like Arizona in coming years. They're a young team, and um, you know they have a lot to offer in the next coming years. Um, Chicago Blackhawks and the Edmonton Oilers, and this one's this one's a, a tough one. It really is. It's hard to go against the Chicago Blackhawks. But I, um, you know, whenever you have Taves and Kane on a team with Saad and um, Shaw and Kubelik and Strom and Debrinket and the list goes on and on, they have a good they have a good uh, group of forwards. They really do. But the thing is, they have a lot of young forwards. They really it's not the same team as they did with their years past with winning cups. Um, their defense is not the same. You know, led by Keith and Seabrook. Uh, I love what Boquist offers. Great young defenseman in the next coming years. Um, you know, Gustafson, I, I think with their defense is a bit more porous than it was in years past. And with their goaltending with Crawford and Subban, I wish it would, they still had Lainer. I really did do. But, um, you know, they, they traded him not knowing they're going to get into the playoffs and just to acquire some assets. So, um, you know, I'm going to give the edge to this for, to the Edmonton Oilers. I really am. You know, when you whenever you have a team uh, led by McDavid and Dreisaitl, who aren't playing on another level. They're playing on another planet. <laughs> These two guys that were phenomenal this year. You know, um, with Dreisaitl winning to Art Ross with 110 points. You have McDavid with 97 points. You know, um, you, if you get a healthy Neil back this year for the, for the rest of the year, I, he started off pretty well, got hurt. And, um, you know, Yamamoto's come up and played well. You have Kajin who could offer some goals and be a, a big physical player. Um, you have Chase on if he could return to his 20 goal form. Um, you have um, those good, you have Nugent Hopkins, of course. Then when you added uh, Fennessee, you Ennis and Green on defense, it's it's just a good team. It really is. You know, and, and I don't mind the defense. Not the best, but they're pretty good. You know, you have Larson, you have uh, Clef Bomb, you have Nurse, you have Bear, who had a really good year. You have um, Russell, you have Green. So it's not a bad six. It's not. So I think, I, I do think. You know, and Koskinen had a good year, and Smith has playoff experience to add if something happens with Koskinen. So, um, I like Edmonton's team. I really do. And I think they're going to win this series. I really do. Um, going over to the next round, um, Minnesota Wild and the Vancouver Canucks. Now, the Minnesota Wild has a good veteran team, you know, led by Parisi, by Koivu, by Su uh, Stahl. Um, they have Zuccarello, uh, Victor Rask. You know, they have a good team. They really do. And um, Felino as well. You know, and they have a good group of defensemen. You know, led by Suter, Dumba, Brodeen, Spurgeon. They have a good... And, and especially in goaltending with Dubnik. They have a good team. But the thing is, they're a bit older. Um, they don't have as much speed as they did in years past. So, this one's going to be a tough one to, to judge. You know, Vancouver's got a lot of younger talent. They're not as... Uh, you know, they, they haven't gone through the battles of playoffs like a lot of the players on the Wild. So I'll give the edge to the veteranship <laughs> to the Wild. But I think the young players on this uh, Vancouver team are really good. They really are. Led by Pedersen, by Besser, by Hughes. They have a really good team. And um, I love the addition of Toffoli. Um, I love what Miller was brought in to add to this team. 
Uh, Gramlin's good if he could come back healthy. I know he had concussion issues this year. Uh, I don't know if the time off helped that. Um, you know, those additions that they have of years past with Beagle and, and Suter is going to be good for this team. And Vertanen's had a big, uh, a big, uh, better year than years past. So, um, you know, it's this one's going to be a tough one to judge. I give a slight edge to the Vancouver Canucks in this one. I think they're a faster team. I think they have younger, quicker scores on this team. Um, I do like the Wild too, but I'm going to give it to Vancouver in this one, and I'm rooting for them because if they win, we get an extra first round pick. But um, you know, their goal, their uh, defense is good too with Edler, Myers, Tanev, Stetcher, Ben, and Hughes. And Hughes is having a call to trophy year, and could he possibly win that over McCarr? It's going to be a tough call. That's going to be a fun debate because those two guys are phenomenal this year. And in net, I mean, I give the net to Dubnik. But, um, you know, Vancouver's been pretty good. Marstrom had a good year. Um, can Demko come in? You know, if anything happens with Marstrom, they have Domingue as a backup to him. So they have a good three in net. So it's, it's going to be a fun series to watch. But I, I give the slightest edge to uh, Vancouver in this one. And um, the last series I want to talk about was the Calgary Flames and the Winnipeg Jets. Now, this is going to be a fun series to watch. This is one that can go either way. It's kind of reminiscent of the Rangers and the Carolina Hurricane one that I did, where I really can't dictate who's going to win, but I give the slightest of edge to a team. You know, Calgary's got a good team. They really do. Their forwards are great. I love uh, Kachuk's game. I really do. I love his scoring. I love his the way he plays physical, scores beautiful goals. Um, he's got that edge to him, and you know, reminiscent of his dad. Um, and his brother. Um, you know, then you have Monaghan, you have Goudreau, you have Lindholm, uh, Mangiapane had a great year, you have Bennett. You know, they have, and Lucic, if he can provide some, you know, physicality, some big hits at certain times to shift the game. You know, I, I like Calgary's team. I love their defense. I love, um, um, drawing a blank, uh, Brody, Hamannick, um, Oh, Giordano, I'm sorry. That guy just gets better year after year. The older he gets, the better he gets. And, um, you know, they have they have a good defense. They do. Um, and their goaltending is good, too. But um, I think the Jets have a deeper team. I really do. I love what Lyon did with his, te with, with his game this year. You know, having a better two-way uh, game this year. I did a video on that. I'll link it at the end. Um, I love how he upped his game to concentrate more on playing a, better, a more rounded game. Um, you know, whenever you have Connor, Connor had just a sensational year and I love Connor, man. He's one of those guys that I would love to get on the devils. Um, you know, you have Shifley, you have, uh, Ehlers, you have Wheeler, Wheeler's that big punishing forward that can score pretty good, pretty good times. And, um, you know, you have a lot of depth and Cody Eakin was a good addition. He'll add a lot to the bottom six. Um, if little could come back healthy, if you have a healthy Perot, I just like the shape of this team. I really do. Cop is good. And, you know, their question mark is going to be their defense. But their defense has gotten them through this year. I don't know how, but they have. <laughs> um, losing all those big names, that whole situation with Bufflin. They got a pretty good defense. You know, Kulikov, Morrissey resigned. I like that signing. Uh, Pionk, I'm familiar with Pionk from him, his time with the Rangers. Uh, going over with the trade with uh, Truba. He had a lot. And every year I was watching him with the Rangers, he got better and better each year. Um, uh, Bellew, DeMillo was a good ad, a good ad at the deadline. Um, I like how uh, Shevel Dayoff didn't go big and try to add a big name, you know, to lose a lot of assets going forward. Um, kept his cool, just got DeMillo, and that was a great addition. And Niku and Pullman to round it out. So, and any team that has a, a hella bucket net is just great. So, um... I'm going to give the slightest of edges, like I said, to the Winnipeg Jets based on their depth at forwards. I think they have a better, you know, going down the list of their forwards compared to Calgary's forwards. It does work out better. Um, I like Calgary's defense over Winnipeg's defense, but I like the net minding with Hellebuck over Riddich. Um, uh, Riddick. But, um, you know, I'm going to give the edge to the Winnipeg Jets in this one. But, you know, I do like Calgary. Going forward, they have a phenomenal team, and um, if they could add just a couple of, of key pieces and that depth at forward, uh, they have a scary team in the next coming years. But, um, you know, if if any of the teams win with Nashville and Arizona, they move on to play the Golden Knights. If whoever wins the Blackhawks and Oilers t uh, series goes on to play the Dallas Stars. Uh, Minnesota Wild, whoever wins that series against the Vancouver Canucks, takes on the Colorado Avalanche, and that'll be a fun series.
I love what the Avalanche team looks like this year. And then you have the Calgary Flames, whoever wins that against the Winnipeg Jets takes on um, the St. Louis Blues. So that's going to be a tough round. So, um, you know, hopefully we get hockey back in July. Hopefully everything's okay. And um, we get to see some play, play in round action. So, um, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, let me know. I'll talk about it. Um, smash that like button. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, you want to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button and uh, join our hockey team. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Please stay safe and take it easy.